why Tejas fighter jets do not fire Brahmos missiles. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we dive into a burning question. Why can't the advanced Tejas fighter jets fire the mighty Brahmos missiles? Let's unravel this fascinating mystery by examining the design, operational, and strategic factors behind this decision. The pride of Indian defense, Tejas and Brahmos. India's light combat aircraft, LCA, Tejas and Brahmos missile are two icons of indigenous defense technology. While Tejas excels as a multi-role light combat aircraft, Brahmos stands as a supersonic cruise missile of unparalleled capability. Despite their advanced features, the integration of Brahmos on Tejas is currently unfeasible due to several reasons. Tejas, designed for agility and efficiency. Tejas is a fourth generation multi-role fighter tailored for air superiority, strike missions, and close air support. Its key attributes include lightweight design, with a maximum takeoff weight of 13.5 tons, it's one of the lightest supersonic jets globally. Advanced technology, featuring fly-by-wire systems, precision-guided weaponry, and multi-mode radar. Versatility, equipped for air-to-air, air-to-ground, and air-to-sea missions. This cost-effective platform prioritizes agility and adaptability in diverse combat scenarios. Brahmos, the supersonic game-changer. The BrahMos missile is a joint venture between India and Russia, known for its supersonic speed, Mach 2.8 to 3.0, ensuring unmatched strike capabilities, massive payload, weighing 2.5 tons with a range up to 500 kilometers, multi-platform compatibility, launchable from land, sea, air, and submarines. Its size and weight, however, pose challenges for lighter platforms like Tejas. Why Tejas cannot carry BrahM structural and size constraints? Tejas's payload capacity of 3.5 tons is insufficient for a missile like Brahmos, which alone weighs 2.5 tons. Integrating Brahmos would require extensive structural modifications, potentially compromising Tejas' agility. Its size exceeds the capacity of Tejas's hardpoints, demanding a fuselage redesign that could affect stealth capabilities. B. Engine and power limitations. Powered by a single General Electric F404 engine, Tejas may struggle with the added drag and weight of Brahmos, impacting its performance and maneuverability. C. Aerodynamic stability. Carrying Brahmos would alter Tejas' aerodynamic profile, affecting speed, fuel efficiency, and overall flight stability. 4. Operational and strategic considerations. A. Mission priorities. Tejas is optimized for short to medium range missions like air defense and tactical strikes. Integrating Brahmos would shift its role, conflicting with its original design objectives. Ha B. Role redundancy. India's Sukhoi Su 30 MKI, a twin engine heavy fighter, is already equipped to carry Brahmos. These aircraft are better suited for long range missions, ensuring efficient resource allocation. C. Diversified fleet efficiency. By assigning specialized roles to platforms, the IAF maintains operational flexibility. While Tejas focuses on tactical missions, Su-30 MKIs handle strategic, long-range strikes. Possible future solutions. A. Brahmos NG Next Generation. A lighter variant of Brahmos, weighing around 1.5 tons, is under development. This could potentially be compatible with Tejas once operational. B. Airframe and Engine Upgrades. Reinforcing Tejas' airframe and enhancing its engine could accommodate heavier payloads, but this would shift its design philosophy and cost efficiency. Alternative weapons. Instead of Brahmos, Tejas can deploy lighter, high-precision weapons like Astra missiles, Derby missiles, and Sudarshan laser-guided bombs, aligning with its current capabilities. 6. Geopolitical and Economic Factors A. Cost Implications Adapting Tejas for Brahmos would demand significant investment in R&D and testing, potentially diverting funds from other critical defense projects. B. Strategic Partnerships. Reserving Brahmos for heavier platforms like Su-30 MKI allows India to maximize the benefits of its collaboration with Russia while keeping Tejas focused on indigenous technologies. Conclusion. The decision not to integrate Brahmos with Tejas is rooted in practical and strategic logic. Tejas, with its agility and cost-effectiveness, thrives in tactical roles, while Brahmos fits better on heavy, long-range platforms like the Su-30 MKI. Looking ahead, advancements like the Brahmos NG and potential upgrades to Tejas could change the scenario. For now, India's approach of diversifying roles ensures a balanced, efficient, 
and highly capable defense force. If you found this deep dive insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more fascinating stories about defense technology and innovation. Would you like to customize this further?